This is a dissection of the left side of the posterior back, posterior left scapular region, and the posterior aspect of the left occiput. We've color coded major cutaneous branches in uh, yellow. And uh, if we uh, look at some um, regional landmarks, this is the posterior occiput, left side, this is the left ear, this is the left uh, spine of the scapula. This is the 12th spinous process of the thoracic region. This is the sacrum. And finally, the iliac crest posteriorly on the left. Some of the larger muscles we see in this region, we see the upper edge of gluteus maximus. We see the gluteal fascia covering the more deeply placed gluteus medius. Here we see the external abdominal oblique muscle adjacent to the latissimus dorsi. As we ascend, we see the inferior fibers of trapezius, the middle fibers of trapezius, and then finally we see the upper fibers of trapezius. We've uh, resected and dissected the uh, trapezius uh, from the spine of the scapula, and by doing so, this allows us to see the supraspinatus muscle just above the spine of the scapula, the infraspinatus muscle, teres minor, and to see this view, we've uh, reflected deltoid off of the spine of the scapula. This is the root of the scapula. The acromion is here laterally. We also see cutaneous branches of the dorsal rami. These are posterior cutaneous branches, uh, and uh, these are colored yellow. We also, uh, from uh, L1, 2, and 3, we see the superior cluneal nerves crossing out over the gluteal region. Uh, cranially, and folding down the upper, some of the upper fibers of trapezius, we see the third occipital nerve from C3. We see the greater occipital nerve here piercing the semispinalis capitis muscle. Um, just over semispinalis capitis, we see the splenius capitis muscle, and running on its surface, the lesser occipital nerve. This is the posterior edge of the sternocleidomastoid. And then here, the uh, motor branch uh, that's colored yellow in this dissection is the accessory nerve. Again, uh, exiting posterior to sternocleidomastoid and diving under to the deep surface of trapezius. If we look at the occiput, we can also note the um, midline, which is here. And one can see this tissue between left and right semispinalis capitis, which represents our nuchal ligament. As we descend uh, and look more deeply to the uh, trapezius, we'll fold trapezius over. This gives us a, a better view of the supraspinatus muscle, one of our rotator cuff muscles. It also shows nicely the rhomboid major and then uh, not uh, clearly separated, but extending from about the edge of the root of the spine of the scapula, we see the rhomboid minor. And then we can see the distal attachment of levator scapulae here near the uh, superior angle um, and heading down toward the root of the scapula. This also gives us a nice uh, view of the upper fibers of latissimus dorsi and its attachment into the posterior lamina of the thoracolumbar fascia. We can also see the vertebral aponeurosis, which extends above this level, and deep to that will be our rector spinny muscle. 